South Africa's political landscape is experiencing a shift as sports arts and culture minister Gayton McKenzie raises an alarm about the growing influence of Jacob Zuma's MK party. In his recent address, McKenzie expressed a serious concerns, urging political figures from all parties to recognize the MK party's rise as a challenge to South Africa's stability and political coherence. Once a small faction created by veterans from Zuma's former Kondo Caesar military group, the MK party has steadily gathered momentum. Under Zuma's leadership, it appeals strongly to South Africa's disillusioned with traditional politics, especially with promises of economic reform, anti-corruption initiatives, and nationalist rhetoric. This messaging has especially resonated with young people and marginalized communities seeking alternatives to mainstream parties. McKinsey highlighted that without intervention, the MK party could sway a broader segment of the population drawing supporters from established political groups like the ANC, EFF, and DA. He emphasized that political leaders need to reflect on their current approaches, engage meaningfully with the public, and address South Africa's pressing socio-economic issues, factors that have fueled the MK Party's appeal. Jacob Zuma's MK Party is on the rise, and if we don't take action, it will eventually overpower us, McKenzie warned, stressing that many South Africans are frustrated with the current state of politics are increasingly willing to support alternative voices that promise a better future. McKinsey's remarks echoed those of political analysts who noted that the MK party has seen a steady growth as former members of the EFF and ANC join its ranks. Analysts suggest that the party's success is partially due to nostalgia for Zuma's era and the perception that mainstream parties have fallen short of their promises for change. As South Africa heads towards its next elections, McKenzie's words may serve as a wake-up call for political leaders to take the MK party's influence seriously. With an increasing number of citizens supporting the MK party, the call for South Africa's leaders to address the socio-economic challenges behind this shift become more pressing, pushing them to reconsider their priorities and reconnect with the people.